So today on Builder Bros, we're going to have this Lego review and of Lego Minecraft, the Ender Dragon. And right he here, so it comes with this Enderman right here. It can move its arms and also has this block in it. Here's the head, it can move it around, which makes sense. And then right here's the tower. And right here's the person in it. Uh, the name is Dragon Slayer. It's not like Steve, but I think it's pretty cool because it's like diamond. It's like diamond clothes. And look on the back, it has this creeper. It has this creeper symbol. And then it has a cut in the pants, if you see that. Uh, Ender Pearl and an enchanted bow. And also, if you want, you can play with it. And it shoots at the tower. And when this pops out, there's thing to press, and it does that. And also, it comes with this potion. And a special code number to get this, but I won't show you because each one's different. So you can't get it. <laughs> and right here's the Ender Dragon. Right here on the back, there's this one that's sticking out because right here I can shoot it out like that. And I do that. And also, here's the wings. Okay, go back, like up. So, like this. And the tail could do that, too. So can move around. So, like the legs, as you can tell. <laughs> and. The mouth is like that. And I think it's pretty cool because this set is only $20. And the old one that they had was like $70. And it actually, it did have more. But I think it's actually a pretty good price because it has this big dragon. It's actually, it's different from the old one. And then right here, I've been wanting this Enderman for like probably five years ago. Maybe in six. I think five years ago. And then... Because uh, I've always been wanting it, but now I got it, like, this year. <laughs> so, that's it of the Injured Dragon set, and we'll go to the next reveal. Okay, guys, now welcome to my review of the Ferrari F8 Tributo review. I want to be reviewing it now. <laughs> so, it comes with this minifigure that can hold, well stuff just like any other minifigure but he came with a wrench to repair his car and he came with this cool Ferrari hoodie that has the logo in there actually no a normal shirt but he has just a jacket over it then his head can be flipped around to not be smiling as much this is probably when he's driving the car because it's fun <laughs> so and he also has some spiky hair and blue jeans is probably what it is and then you can take off his hair and put on the helmet so safety first when you're driving a car that goes over 200 miles per hour so then you can then you can um well first before i show the inside i'm going to show the outside so there's the ferrari logo on the front right there and they did, this is a pretty cool model. They made it look really realistic. On the back, 2006 is, I guess, the year probably of the car. Uh, they have multiple models of this car, real Ferrari. And it has movable mirrors, so you can adjust them. The engine is inside there in the real car. And on the inside, there's room for two minifigures. It's the first series to have two minifigures inside. So I'll be showing you with two. Here is a Star Wars person to go inside. Next to the Ferrari driver. And then you can actually put the top on and they fit perfectly. Technical difficulties. His helmet makes him not fit right. Oh. <laughs> Not the set. The set works fine. Uh oh. <laughs> it just works with too many figures as long as they don't have a big helmet on. 
So this set also, you can swap out the rims on the tire to be different. I don't have the rims with me right now, but oh, guess that's, oh yeah. And on the inside, there's a little bit of details like the, there's a sticker there with stuff from the car. I don't know what the, exactly what they're called, but there's the chairs and all steering wheel. All cars have those, yay. Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and thanks for watching to Builder Bros, and please subscribe. Thank you.